In this lab, we will learn how to use two different solvents to separate two different solids. We will be doing this with a large-scale setup. The solvents we will use are TBME and water. However, you could use any two solvents, as long as they don't dissolve in each other. In most cases, one solvent is water and the other solvent is an organic liquid. For the large-scale method, you will use the separation funnel. First, check to see that the stopcock on the bottom of the funnel is closed. Then dissolve your unknown in the appropriate solvent. Pour the unknown solution into the funnel and place a stopper in the top of the separation funnel to prevent leaking. Also, be sure to hold the cap in place. Then gently rock the funnel while holding it with both hands to thoroughly mix the layers. After shaking, hold it upside down and open the stopcock to vent out some of the vapors in the funnel. Repeat this three times. Return it to an upright position and take the stopper off of the top. Then allow the layers to separate and open the stopcock slowly to allow the bottom layer to fall into the beaker below. Close the stopcock and repeat until you have reached the desired amount of washes. To determine which layer your unknown is in, you know that glucose is the impurity and that it is soluble in water. This means that your unknown will be found in the TBME layer. This layer is called the extract. Determine which layer is which by finding the densities of the solvents. The lighter one is usually on top. Once you have your organic layer collected, add a drying agent. This will absorb any water in the solution. Drying agents include potassium carbonate, magnesium sulfate, sodium sulfate, and calcium chloride. Scoop small amounts of the drying agent into your solution to form a layer at the bottom. Allow it to sit for a few minutes. As the drying agent absorbs moisture, the grains stick together. If after five minutes you can swirl the test tube rapidly, and you see individual grains of drying agent swirl around, there must not be any moisture left. Otherwise, those grains will be sticking to the rest. However, if it sticks in a clump, there may be leftover water. You should add a little more drying agent, wait for a few minutes, and check it again. You will need to filter the drying agent off using a Hirsch filter. Then, evaporate your unknown solution using a rotary evaporator and transfer it into a weighed vial. You will need to obtain IR and NMR spectra, as well as the melting point. 